And this is how we left it at the end of the last animation tutorial. We successfully managed to create that animation, and we did that by implementing the software equivalent of an old-fashioned flipbook animation. So we calculated the coordinates of our images, and we drew our images, and we did that rapidly. But the problem I pointed out was that uh, we have no control over the timings, so that can affect your gameplay and the feeling of your animation. So here you can see these bitmaps are a bit jerky. And in this tutorial, we're going to enforce some restrictions and uh, create a more uniform experience and try and smooth this jerky movement out and have a mostly predictable motion. You can think of this as a film. Here's our flipbook animation, and I've restricted it to snapshots. So here in a period of one second, I've got five snapshots. And if you look at one of these snapshots, you have at the beginning, the period where you calculate the coordinates of your characters and the drawing, and you're probably going to have a lot of time left over. And instead of zipping straight onto the next frame, what you can do is calculate this delta T and pause. But how long would this frame be? Well, I'm going to go for 15 frames a second, and we'll, we'll change that number and play with that in later tutorials. So at 15 frames a second, it means one of these film segments is going to be 0.07 seconds long, so that after doing your update coordinate calculations and your drawing, you have to add on delta T to make up the time to 0.07 seconds. And unfortunately, if you're going to do some Android app development, especially uh, game loops, you're not going to be able to avoid some mathematics. So here we have the rendering portion and I've labeled that TR. Here's the gap you want uh, to pause for, delta T, and the entire time is TF for frame time. And this is the equation you need to pay attention to. Your total frame time is your render time plus delta T, and that's approximately 0 0.07 seconds. But if we take this bracket and this film segment and we turn it on its side, it's actually our while loop from the animation tutorial. So while draw, we run through in the rendering and we have a function update x and y's for the delta t and then we draw a new position and then we wait. And then we loop again on the next frame and here's the code from our animation tutorial. All we have here is the updates and the drawing. We don't have any of this time control and that's what we're going to be focusing on in the next tutorial and also how to pick delta t and exactly how delta t is calculated. And I think that's enough for this tutorial. Rewatch it to make sure you get the concepts and we'll move on further in the next one. Thanks for watching.